I'm Pam on Sunset and today we're trying cute pins. Ooh. Today's YouTube inspiration comes from Generation DIY. She does lots of cool DIY videos and she also has other videos like routine videos and vlogs, so go check her out. For today's tutorial, you need lots of Sharpies, plastic with a number six on it, pins, a glue gun, and scissors. So the first step is to pick anything that you want to create and make into a pin. You can put these pins on your pencil case, or your backpack, or on your jean jacket, anywhere you want. I stenciled them first. I didn't make you guys watch that part because I kind of can't draw. And then I just went through and marked the ones that I liked. And now I'm gonna put them on the plastic. Ooh, I can draw. And then just trace them. Let's find out the real deal on this DIY. Ooh, one down. So a tip that Jen had was to make these bigger than, like a lot bigger than you want the pin to be because when we're gonna put them in the oven in a little bit, they're gonna shrink way down. Ooh, cramp, 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 cramp. So the next thing she did was decorate and she recommends really coloring in all the plastic so that when they shrink down, they look even cooler. It sounds Clark and I are going on a secret destination in a couple weeks. I'm on a diet, and I made a donut. What is wrong with me? I want the donut so bad. I want it so bad. <laughs> I think chocolate cake's my favorite dessert, but donuts are basically cake, so they're kind of second, one and a half favorite. What's your favorite dessert? Leave it in the comments. Oh, I should have made a Mario Kart pin. What is wrong with me? Jellyfish before, right? What color are jellyfish? Translucent? Oops. We're done coloring! Next, you cut them out. Ah! I'm gonna leave a very thin line of plastic around each design. While you're cutting, you should probably preheat your oven to 325 degrees. So we've cut out all of our 2B pins. So now you take all your pins, you put them on a baking sheet with aluminum foil, and put them in the oven for about a minute and watch them shrink up into pins. I'm a little afraid of putting plastic that I got from a sushi restaurant in my oven. Here we go. Whoa, they curled up. I put these in the oven and they curled a lot and I put them under some hard books for a couple hours. But I'm gonna move on to the next step because I don't know if they're ever gonna unfurl. Speaking of, the next step is to glue the pins on. This was a pretty cheap project and these, this is actually the only thing that I bought. But if you just had safety pins laying around, you could use that too and then you wouldn't have to spend any money. Ow! This is extra hard because they're all curled up. <laughs> and I just glue burned my finger. Yeah, glue burn. that's the thing. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, when I'm gluing the pin, the pin's heating up really fast too, and it's also kind of burning my hands, so just be really, really careful on this step. Now I'm gonna let these dry for a couple minutes. We made some pins, they look pretty cool. You guys like my pins? So, okay, it's, it's too hot for me to wear this. <laughs> oh my God, look how cool it turned out! I would definitely try this again because they're really, really cool and you can make them for anything. You can make them as a customized gift for someone or like every time you have a new favorite character, you could draw it out. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. The real deal on this DIY, tip number one, is if you're gonna use the Sharpies, I would definitely write, if you're gonna write any words on it, write that afterwards because otherwise you have to color around it and instead of just writing over on top of it. Or you could paint. You could paint them instead. That might be a better option. Tip number two, I put all of my pins in the oven at the same time and then they 
came out of the oven so fast that I had to like try and uncurl them really quickly and it was it was bad. I would definitely only cook one or two pins at a time so you have enough time to uncurl them. Tip number three. I was gonna leave an outside border of the plastic and I didn't and I wish I did because they curled up and I think if I had really strong scissors I could cut that curled up part off if there was extra there but there is an extra on mine. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, or hit that like button. You could, you could even hit both. Did you guys watch the video where I made this? Did you? Did you? Did you?